Hello everyone, today we are going to be reviewing the LG Carlos vacuum. So I have kept my house and my car dirty just for you for the last two weeks so we could test this thing. We have been wanting it for the beginning that we moved to this new house, but it was in back order like everything else is in back order right now. And right now it's finally back in Best Buy, so we went really quick and got it. After breaking three Dyson vacuums, we are done with Dyson. We want to give it the chance to LG or other brands. And this one seemed really good. We saw a few reviews. We saw the one from iJustine and it sold us out on it. As you know, we have Venus and Apollo that they are extremely heavy shedders. There's hairs everywhere in my house and I haven't cleaned for the last two weeks to make sure this was put to the test. So let's go inside and start cleaning. Especially these also have an attachment for mopping and my floors really need a mop. This is the LG Core Zero Thinning QA9 compressor. This one brings all the attachment including the mopping. And the best feature is the auto cleaner. So let's open the boxes and see our vacuum cleaner. First in here we have the two batteries for the vacuum cleaner. Have the sticker for the allergy friendly from the British Allergy Foundation. Doesn't have the one for the American one, but I googled it and is also approved by the American and Asthma Association. Here is the one extender. It feels like metallic, but also at the same time, it feels a little bit plasticky. The bottom part and the top part, they're obviously plastic, but the one in the middle, we are not 100% sure if it's plastic or metal. But it feels like really good quality though. And next we got the power nozzle. This one will be the head that we will use the most. Feel like soft on one side, hard on the other. Next box we have some of the filters for the vacuum as well as this little pot to pour the water for the mud function. Next one is the brush nozzle for delicate areas like keyboards, TVs and stuff like that. Also bring this little brush, I'm not quite sure for what it is, I imagine it's to clean the vacuum. I just have to google and look for what is the purpose of that little brush. And next is our crevice tool for those corners, narrow spaces and any edges. We want to try this one in the car, especially like in between the seats. This one is the mini power nozzle. It's a little bit different from the regular power nozzle, like you can see here, this is like a plasticky, rubbery, squishy kind of material. The big power nozzle, that one have bristles. And here we have the pads for the mopping part, which I'm super excited for this. And here we have the mopping head. I'm super excited to test this one and see how well it does mopping. The container for the water on the top is kind of small, so I'm a little concerned to see if it will be able to clean the whole house, but I can't wait to put it to the test. These are the extra filter for the tower. Here we have the base for the tower and we have to put the rubbery feet. And 
And finally, here is the tower where we will put the vacuum cleaner and all the attachments. This is also where the auto self-cleaning happens. Down here, we have the little bag where the auto self-cleaning goes, everything that comes from the trash, and also it have the filters. This vacuum have three different type of filters which make him allergy friendly. What happened again? Is that your vacuum? So we connected it here in the wall, in the corner in the living room. Uh, please don't judge our walls. If you've been here for a while, you know in January we moved to this house and we are remodeling the full house and we haven't put the baseboards yet. So I'm gonna explain that really quick here before we keep with our review of the LG vacuum. Every time you put the vacuum back in the charging station, it does a self-cleaning mode and it's a little bit loud, but the great thing is it's self-cleaning. And in here you see the battery is charging, the one that is connected to the vacuum. And in here it shows you that the auxiliary battery is fully charged and it is in auto mode. Or maybe you could take it out of auto mode. Let me see. Yes, you can. So it doesn't have to clean every time that you put it in if you don't want to. This is the rug that the dogs come in and out from outside from the backyard and you can see a lot of loose dirt on top and a lot, a lot of hairs. I hope you could see them here. There's a lot of hairs. There's dust, part from the grass. So I'm gonna be testing it now, the vacuum here in the rug. That was on normal mode, I guess when you just turn it on. Go for three seconds. I think the battery is not, it's too dead. Let's switch it out. Says that the battery is full, no? I think so. I have to check the manual because I'm not sure. Yeah, this one is too. It's like blinking full. Yeah. Pick up all the hair that was on top and the dirt too. Yeah. So I want to show you now the rug. You can see it's a lot lighter right now. It took out a lot of the dust and all the hairs that was on top, they're gone. Oh, it's like so much dust. Look at this. Oh, that's so nasty. Yeah. Ew. This is like pure dust. It gets a little bit of hair, but it's pure dust. Well, Whoa. this is the rug that goes directly into the backyard where there's grass and yeah. the doors come in and out all day long. And you see the auto... Um... I have to get an auto, auto thing. Oh, uh, well you can put start, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. I think I uh, did something. Cause look, I dropped a bunk of dust. Um, I think when I un when I um, unhooked it, uh -huh. I might have dropped dust. Let's see the canister to see if we empty it out completely. Oh yeah, it did a great it job. It did a great job. Yeah, so I had unhooked it here. So I'm thinking that there was a little bit here and it fell. Yeah. But yeah, it did a great job. Wow. It did fell out a little bit, but I think it was user error. I don't think it was the fault of the vacuum. Now you have the duty to find the biggest ball of hair we're gonna find in the house. It's been raining like for the last two weeks, so we have a lot of pop prints, a lot of dirt, and just for you, a lot of hair. Look how nasty all those balls of hairs. In every corner in our house, there's always a ball of hair. The tumbleweeds. <laughs> So let's taste it now. Show me the bottom part now after he sucked the ball of hair to see if it got clogged. Not bad. No, I didn't. Too There's more hair for you, right there. Staying 80%. Last time I said an 80 and I had to reset oh, everything. There it there goes. goes. What is the nickname? Magic Wand. Register and get covered with additional benefits. Let's go register now. Let's put my information. You never had that before that you had to take the picture of the receipt? <laughs> they want to make sure you bought it. Yeah. Edited. Stick cleaner has been edited. And go home. Alright, so now we see our wash tower and then our magic wand. Let's see what kind of information it shows us on here. So it tells us the battery life is charging and I guess it's in the red, so not much else that you can do with that I guess. Filthy cleaning, smart diagnosis. Okay, at first I thought it wasn't gonna be enough water. But it looks like it is. You had a measurement on here? For yes. how much water it needs to be? It didn't have a measurement, thank you. Oh. Okay. That's good. Are they machine washable? Or do I have to wash um, them by hand? I I believe they are machine washable. Okay. I could be wrong. So I'm gonna put it first on the 
on the low water when we connect it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the dirt marks that we have. Like I mentioned before, it's been raining like for two weeks non-stop in the afternoons. And yeah. you could see here all the dirt from the paw prints and also like there's lover. It makes horrible marks. You can see here pretty much a paw print. Those round ones are from Slover. So let's see how it does. Okay, so it's a, it's a one. Yeah, I don't know if this is the ending. I mean, it has a little bit of water supposedly, but I don't know if any water is going through. I don't see the water coming out. Yeah, I don't see, it's not wet at all. Put it on the more water. I don't see any water. Maybe you have to press something. Press, I don't know. Can you put turbo more? Yes. Yeah. Turbo more is not working. It won't go into a triple mode. Okay. Are um, you doing something wrong? <laughs> Where's your buddy? I'm gonna look for a video really quick and I will get back to you. <laughs> so I look for the manual and it said that the first step is to actually wet the mop thingies. So we went outside really quick and wet them. Yes, and you can see that the marks in the floor, they're coming out. It's pretty effortless for sure. Get this one from the slovers, the doors, they get very sticky to the floor. Not bad. This glides so effortlessly. And like parts that are just a little bit more stubborn that just don't come off like so quickly. You just kind of hide like, I don't know if you can see that one mark and kind of go over. Let me get closer. Which mark? So I'm going over like this mark right here. Mm -hmm. And if I go over it quickly, it doesn't really like disappear. Oh, there it is. There's one, a but, big one there. Yeah, so if I go over it quickly, it kind of like stays, but if it's a little stubborn, just stay over it for a second. And it's gone. So something I just realized, it knows, it's smart enough to know that it's attached specifically to this mop head because the vacuum itself isn't sucking any, anything at all. Like it's just using the battery power for, for that, which is great, right? You're going to have way longer run times on it, I guess, right? It does a good job getting really close to the corners 
like that corner right there is very hard to reach and it's doing pretty decent job And we had a vacuum right before and even they still pick up a bunch of hair and a lot of dirt. These here are the slobber mark next to the water bowl of Venus and Apollo. These ones are the toughest to clean because they come out from outside, they drink a lot of water and then they step with all the dirt that they brought from outside. So let's see, Apollo, we were just in this. Let's see if you clean your slobber. It is, like, you gotta keep it on there for a little while, but it's sticking it up. This one right here, we always struggle when we use the regular mop. We have to actually scrub those marks out. If you're planning to do your house brand new, don't use white tile, we learn. Check it out though. Yeah, and then. Right. This is after mopping the full house. We have vacuumed most of the house, but there's always hairs in the corners. There's always hair somewhere. So it captured a lot of the hairs. And it did a pretty decent job and it took out a lot of the marks in the floor. It did a pretty decent job cleaning, especially the slobber marks that they're very tough to get out. And it took out a lot of the dirt from the floor. The floor looked pretty clean, but it's very slow compared to our regular mop. So it will don't substitute a mop completely, but I will use it to clean small areas like just one room, not for the full house. Okay, do you give it a pass up? Yes? <sighs> to be honest, I say to hand wash them and I did now. There's still a little bit of dirt. You probably hear a lot of echo calls I'm in the bathroom. Uh, but next time I'm gonna put them in the washer because I don't wanna wash them by hand. And I wanna see if they get ruined in the washer. Anyway, it bring another set. So if I mess up these ones in the washer, well, I use the other ones and I guess I order a new pair. But I don't wanna wash them by hand all the time. It was super jockey, all the dirt that it came out of it. So yeah. I wash them now by hand because it says to do so, but I want to try them in the washer to see. You guys know we just came back from our road trip with Venus and Apollo and this is how the interior of my car got full of hair after a week traveling. This side has less hair because I don't know if you remember in the video we have here the refrigerator with Venus and Apollo's food. But in this side, Apollo was laying most of the time, so this side have a lot more hair. So I'm gonna be testing now this attachment here. They have the symbol of dog hair. And let's see how it goes. It's taking out the hair of the carpet, but because of the contour of my car, these places here are hard to reach. So I think I'm gonna have to use another attachment for that. 
this attachment i think it will work better in a flat surface like here the liner that is full of all the dirt and hair from the trip so i'm gonna be using it on that and we will get back to this with a different attachment because it's very hard to reach this contour here and i know this one have a lot of like little crevices here so it's gonna be really hard to reach with this mouth The festival one picks up more. It has to be the attachment, I guess. I was a little disappointed with all the attachment in the rug of my car. The rug of my car is very easy to clean with the other vacuum that we have, the rainbow and the festool. Uh, and this one wasn't getting all the hairs from the rug. So that was a little bit frustrating, especially that this vacuum is so expensive. So I was expecting a lot more for the rug. If your house is all a rug, I don't think this vacuum is awesome for you. But if your house is tile like ours, it's great. Pick up concert. It, it doesn't have like right here. You see your hand. You don't feel it until you get all the way close. Yeah, that's what I noticed, but I thought it was because it was of the contour of the car. That's why I came inside to get the other attachments. Yeah, dude, but this is, this is flat and it's literally just like, I mean, you can kind of see like the line of where I move this thing. It just pushes it. It's not picking anything up. I don't understand. What I do see that it might have picked up is some dust. 
It was like, I guess, like uh, deep in the fibers of the. On the rug? Yeah. You see, like, there's a lot of dust in there. Yeah. That it picked out. Right. The hairs, it's not doing a great job of uh, pulling out the hairs. I don't know if we got to look on their website. It's possible they have a separate attachment because the Dyson that we used to have, uh, it had one of these, but it, it didn't do a good job either. Well, and this one had one. The, a dog and a cat, so I assume this was, was for a pet hair. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this one, is, this one picks it up. Apollo is there watching us. We're gonna be using the Fest tool. This one is a construction vacuum that we use because we're building everything new inside the house. So this is what we usually use to um, you know, vacuum the car. I've, this is the one that I always use for that. And it does a really good job. It cleans pretty well and yeah. <laughs> Not much else to say about it, it's a vacuum. We're gonna go over the same spots that we were going over before with the other vacuum. That were really stuck that this one was struggling with too. They just are like embedded into the into the rug, uh, but it was able to get better into the corner, I think. That one, I think it has a little bit more suction, but yeah, this one it didn't do what I was expecting. I was expecting to get those really hard corners to reach, like that one there. I'm gonna do it really quick again just to give it a second try. I don't think there's a question that the festival one is better for this task. It's also more maneuverable. Like, you know, I'm just holding the, the, the hose or whatever with the nozzle. This thing I have to hold like the whole entire thing, which makes it less, I guess you could get into less tight space, uh, places. So after using the vacuum for a few days, I already have some opinions. I love the mopping that's a thumbs up from me. And I like to use the vacuum like to clean the tile floors, to clean the computer area, and to clean like on top of our furniture. But it's not great for the car. Our car, yes, was extra dirty because we did the road trip and it had a lot of dust, dirt, and hair. Uh, but it didn't do a great job with the rug. So if your house is full of rugs, I will keep looking for another vacuum. But if your floors are tile and you're gonna use it mainly in tile and in furniture, we really liked it. Well, that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.